been following along, you know that we're back up here on this holding area to kind of finish some tie-ins with some cross fences. We've got to dig a hole. That would not be a problem if it was sandy loam. That would not be a problem if you had a little bit of clay. But we are like beyond hard pan. This is the base of a copper mine, and so there is lots of rocks. We start with a shovel, need a hole about this big, usually end up with a hole you know, anywhere from 18 to two feet because we're digging out rocks. We've tried post hole diggers. They don't work because they just pound against those rocks. We pulled out an old auger from Grandpa Bean, and this old auger will take and it will churn up those rocks, bring them into its little bucket and pull them up. It's been a great success. I hope it works here. We have to soak the holes. We have to be patient, but they will come up if you work with them the constant pounding doesn't seem to work there is application to this in our world today we find ourselves in our devotional and it's titled the jerusalem brethren and it's in acts 15 and the text today is verse 2 and it talks about this dispute that they had in jerusalem and so it says in the latter part of verse 2 that they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain others of them should go up to Jerusalem under the apostles and the elders about this question. And so there was, they were at this impasse. It's as if they were just pounding on this rock with this post hole digger and they could not get any movement. And so Paul and Barnabas go up there with the intent of getting some movement so they can get past these rocks. And so they go up there and they began to work with these brethren and they have a solution. Now, why did they have a solution and why today in the world that we live in today, we have no solutions? Well, because they were seeking the truth. That's the difference. If you're seeking the truth and you want the truth, then you will get resolution. You will be able to disagree but not be disagreeable. You'll be able to maybe disagree on a certain subject matter but come together on the overall goal. This is exactly what they were able to do today. In the world that we live in today, we find that uh, if you don't agree with a the narrative, then they will uh, they'll enforce it. They'll create some laws and some mandates and some state agencies to force the issue because they're not seeking the truth, they're seeking conformity. They're seeking compliance. And uh, this is a problem. Uh, in Romans 3, 4, it says, let God be true and every man a liar. And the truth will prevail. We know that. I was listening to one of my favorite podcast guys. And he's not a saved man, but he's getting there. And he's talking about the Bible. And he said, this is the book that's changed his life. And I hope it changes it in a spiritual well, uh, sense as, as well. But he says, uh, things made of stone do not last. Empires do not last. Civilizations do not last. But the word of God endures. And I love that. I love that. Here's a man that, that is not even saved, or we don't know if he's saved. And he sees that the word of God, truth, prevails. And so we will have resolution if, in fact, we're seeking for the truth. Hope you're seeking for the truth today. Uh, it is the only thing that will remain. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Uh, it is a joy going through this journey with you guys. God bless.